hello everyone and welcome welcome to today's video i know i look like a sumo wrestler <laughs> but um i am actually getting ready to go out and celebrate my six my my husband and i six wedding anniversary and uh yes we did got married in february not on the 14th we got married on the 8th and i am i wanted to share with you what my looks will look like i don't even know what i want to do for my makeup but i definitely know i want to record this and i want to make this a video on my channel so here we are let's get with the video and see what we can come up with don't stop I'm gonna go in with ordinary high adherence silicone primer my face is already prepped but I want to add this primer on I don't have that much in it left which I'm glad there's gonna be another one done yay if you haven't watched my um, project pen update I'm gonna leave it up here for you so you can see but I did finish uh, two primers and then this one probably is going to be the third and i didn't even have to put this on in a project pan that's exciting and so what we're going to do tonight we're just going to go out to a restaurant finally finally in washington state they allow the restaurants to uh, be open to dine in and i'm excited about that i have not been to a restaurant in Oh man, how many months now? Five months or so? So I'm excited to go out. I'm just like excited. So I don't want to add anything, any any makeup. Like honestly, I don't even care how I'm gonna look like. I just want to get out. You know, that's that's the that's the thing of it. So I think for foundation, either I'm gonna go with this one from Becca Skin Love, or this one from Too Faced. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one from Becca. This is Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I absolutely love how this one looks on me. This is in fawn, the color, and the color is a little bit darker. So, I'm gonna add one of the things that I recently purchased is this one right here. This is the NYX Total Control Pro, and this one actually is a huge shifter that makes your foundation lighter if it's too dark. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this on top of it, and then I'm gonna mix it together, and it's gonna be the perfect uh, color, you know? So here we go. I'm gonna add this on my face, and then I'm gonna so yeah, we're celebrating six years since we got married. We've been together for almost nine years. Damn, the time flies. Let me tell you, I don't even know when when that happened. Like, it's just so weird and so bizarre to think that we were just getting married six years ago. We were. We were so shaken up. I was literally uh, so scared of marriage and my husband was the same way. We were not firm believers in marriage and we were like, I don't know if, she, if we should do this or not. Like, seriously, what we're gonna do, what's gonna happen, you know, it's been, it, it was, it was a, a roller coaster of emotions. Um, but one thing that we we said to each other is like, like when we go into this, we promise to uh, each other that we will uh, try to be together as much as possible. And if at some point in time, the love for each other dies, we will let the other person know, even, even if that's very hard to deal with we would rather be honest with each other so here we are today still still kicking <laughs> still going on um strongly you know um and and we are surprised every year we've been through a lot and i would 
I have to say he is the person that my rock. I'm I'm very <laughs> oh man. I'm all over the place sometimes and um, I'm even all over the place when I try to talk about my marriage but he is definitely the person that uh, understands me the most and appreciates me the most and even when I don't appreciate myself he does so that's that's something that keeps me he's somebody that keeps me grounded and that's what I appreciate about our relationship. Okay, there we go. Foundation is done. Uh, for powder, I'm definitely gonna go with this one. This is All Nighter from Urban Decay. And this one has a huge pan in it. Um, if I don't finish this one this soon, um, probably I'm just gonna add it into a project pan and just try to finish it off, you know? So I'm going to add a little bit of this all over my face. I'm going to set it before I put my uh, concealer. Now for concealer, I'm just going to go in with this one from Neutrogena. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer, the Healthy Skin one and I have mine in Brulee Light Medium 1 and I do love this oh so I love this so much it is absolutely gorgeous super lightweight and this is for those people that have like uh, some uh, wrinkles under their eyes this is actually gonna help you with that and not showing and not settling into the lines and to set under my eyes, I'm gonna go with this Alfra Banana Powder. I like this one because it has that yellow undertone and it just kind of looks so much better than going with something that is translucent because sometimes the translucent ones, they just leave a cast, a white cast, and I really, really don't like that. So this one is really nice because of that there we go and now i do want to do my eyes before i do my bronzer and everything else i was looking to my uh, makeup collection and uh, guess what i found this zoeva caramel melange um eyeshadow palette that looks like this and i do remember loving this one so i want to play with it today i want to do something not too crazy because i don't I just don't feel like in the mood to do something super crazy. I want something more in the natural side with a little bit of a twist than you, like my usual type of makeup. Um, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take this Finish Sensual right here. And I'm gonna add that Let's do a little bit above my crease. I have not decided what I'm gonna wear yet. I have a dress and a pair of jeans and a, a, a nice blouse. So either I'm going to go with a dress or I'm going to go with a pair of jeans and a blouse. Not quite sure which direction to go, but uh, I will see. I'm going to make a makeup that is suitable for both. The dress is more of a navy color and the blouse is it's a cheetah print or a leopard print, something like that. So... I make something that is suitable for both okay I like that over there so next I'm gonna go in with this purple what is called out edible gem I'm just gonna add it all over my lid Oh, I do like that. Oof, that looks so beautiful. I like it a lot. 
Now, I definitely need to change a little bit on the top. I'm thinking, let's do Universal Delight. And I'm gonna take that and put it under my brow bone. I remember why I like this palette so much. I love it. And then next I'm gonna take this, uh, what is it called? Almost Burnt, which is like a very golden eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take that with a different brush actually. I'm gonna do that one because I wanna put that right here in the inner corner because it's gonna look so nice with that purple. I'm gonna take it like this. And next, I'm gonna take this uh, Stark Soft and I'm gonna add this one on the lower lash. We're gonna do a little bit of a liner too. Now before I continue on, I definitely need to do my brows. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do my eye makeup without my brows being there. So let me go in with this Benefit uh, Brow Contour Pro and just kind of fill my brows in. For eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this soft black sheen liquid eyeliner from um, blank. I think I'm gonna go in and just grab a little bit of this purple called the edible gem and add this under my eyes because I think I need something darker. Yeah, that is so much better. I'm gonna add a little bit of this black liner from Essence into my waterline. And along the lash line. For my, for my bronzer, I'm gonna go with this one, the matte, uh, Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer that I do have a pan in and trying to use as much as possible i'm so excited about this i did talk about it in my project pan video oh so good so i'm gonna add a bunch of this to my face and for my blush i'm gonna go with this one from sleek uh, makeup blush and this is in rose gold 926 i always have a problem opening any type of things but this is how it looks like so i'm gonna grab one of these brushes and just kind of apply it more in the high areas of my cheeks because this is very sparkly um and it's gonna give you that sparkle right there where you want that the highlighter to be so it's kind of like two in one i don't even know if you can see it on camera i don't have my contact in and i just can't even see <laughs> far but hopefully you do and now for mascara i'm definitely gonna go with uh, this one right here is Marc Jacobs from Marc Jacobs at Lash. I do want to use this tool to make sure I make my eyelashes curl. This curler. I don't usually do this, but when it's like more of a special occasion. 
I'm gonna go for it and then I'm gonna go with my mascara. All right, now for my lips, I'm gonna go with KKW Lip Liner in Nude 2. Absolutely love the formula of her lip liner. It's so beautiful, so easy to glide on your lips. Creamy, gorgeous pigmentation. Love, love these. And now for <laughs> for lipstick, I'm gonna go with something crazier. This is from Fenty, and this is called Griselda. It is in the Mademoiselle formula. And this one is dark. I like that and then I want to go with and I'm gonna go with this lip gloss from private society in flush I'm gonna set everything with more pre luminous setting spray And I'm gonna go change, fix my hair, and I'll show you how everything looks like. All right, so here is you guys. This is what I decided to wear. I know I look more professional <laughs> and sexy, but that's that's how I am. That's how my style is. And I decided to go with this because the jeans, I'm not gonna be able to eat enough. So I also have my sparkly mask to take with me and I have to go because I'm really in a rush.